I'm TJ and I'm 21 years old. I'm currently at university studying for a degree in business and marketing. But from the age of 13, I was living in care as a looked after young person. This experience made me realise how important getting the right sort of care and support was to help develop my aspirations and achieve my goals. And now I think I'm well on the way to doing just that. This short film is about the sort of care and support you should expect to receive in your life to help you achieve whatever it is that you want to do. To talk about this, let me introduce you to a group of looked after young people from the North East. Whoops, start again. They'll tell you about their experiences as looked after young people and how getting the right sort of care and support can make all the difference to their lives and to yours. It should enable all of us to have the same opportunities in life as everyone else. A national organisation called NICE has considered what is most important and what can be improved for looked after children and young people. They've developed some statements about this, so we can use them to make our lives better. NICE is the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence. It's a national body which develops guidance and quality standards based on evidence to improve the quality of care across health and social care. This quality standard is a set of eight statements which clearly set out what good quality care looks like. The standard can be used by looked after children and young people to refer to, to understand the quality of care that they should be receiving. So let's have a look at what these statements are all about. Like every young person, our identity is really important to us. Who we are and how we feel. And that's what the first statement is all about. Um, I love cooking. I like reading. I'm funny, um, quite chatty. I like writing poetry. I'm a very chatty, bubbly, hyper person. I think I'm creative, happy and friendly. I would say I'm kind of bubbly at sometimes, but I can be really moody and really bossy sometimes. But who are we really? What story do we tell about ourselves and our lives? It's not always an easy thing to talk about. I find it hard to talk about my past, but when it comes to family, I'm more than happy to ask. It just kind of gets to me a bit when I'm talking about my past and things that have happened then. I describe myself as someone who's went through a lot of different challenges and has had a tough beginning to life. Yeah, I do look, talk about when I'm looked after because everyone's asking us how I am in being in foster care. Sometimes I feel like I can't, but sometimes, some days I can. You kind of think, like, that is part of me, that is who I am, but then other times you're like, actually, it's just a position that I'm in, I'll never be like this forever. I think it's important to know what's happened in my life. It's very important to us, make us feel myself, because I get it to be, I am who I am. I think it's just really important for, like, young people to know what the background is and where they come from. Having a good supportive environment is important for any young person to grow up in. Feeling wanted, cared for and loved. I think they need a loving and secure and warm placement because if you're not somewhere you feel happy, you're not able to concentrate on what you want and what you need in life. A uh, place you could call home. Well, if someone opens the door with a smile, that usually makes you feel welcome. But if someone opens the door with like a frown or something, then I feel, oh, what's going to happen now? And I get a bit anxious and nervous and all that sort of stuff. I want to feel quite safe, quite calm and quite relaxed and chilled out with my foster cares. If someone knows how I feel, then they, they can kind of share that with us instead of like, me having to go through it all by myself. Sometimes it is when you've had an absolute rubbish day and you come home and say, oh, you look lovely, or oh, you're really polite, you are really polite today. It really can really brighten your day up and it makes, it makes me feel really better. I can be there with open arms when I need support and ask us questions if I'm not OK. We have lots of people around us who support us and it's really important that we feel they talk to each other. I have foster carer, social worker, NSPCC worker, social worker, me foster carers, leaving care team, the main people, and this IRO person. 
where I had support of me primary school teachers, um, me carer at the time, um, me social worker, and um, lots of other people. Everyone that's involved in your life is there to support you, and if not, then they're not the people that should be there. When there's been changes in things, it's kind of mixed my head up and I'm thinking, well, when am I saying this, when am I saying that? It's really confusing and it can really upset like a young person like me. Well, as long as life stays the same and not change too much, then I feel happy. Because, I mean, if it changes too quickly, I'll get a bit of a shock or I'll get a bit anxious and a bit worried, that sort of thing. But if it stays the same, I know nothing's going to change and I feel happy and safe. It makes me a lot happier in myself because I used to have anger issues when I was having to move placement every other month and I found it very hard to concentrate in school and that, whereas now I feel a lot more like chilled in myself and I can concentrate at school and college and I get a lot more done and I don't feel as stressed. Sometimes it's hard because recently I've moved to foster placements and I've went up to high school so, like, just trying to get my head round that, it's quite frustrating because you don't know what to do, like, in certain places of that placement or in that school. What makes me feel happy is, like, the fact that Mikhail, like, gets most of the stuff I like. But, I mean, obviously, I have to give something in return for that, so I'm going to help run the house and, like, do jobs and homework without being asked and type in my room because that's something I never really do. When I got a bike for Christmas, it made us part of the family because it made us feel like I was welcoming the family. The quality statements capture what is most important about the service that children in care receive from the people who are caring for them and who care about them. My message to children in care is that uh, the people who are caring for you and about you, your foster carers, residential workers, social workers, healthcare professionals, whoever it is, they should be working with you, caring for you and about you. They should be ambitious for you. And above all, they should be helping you to achieve your full potential. And of course, we've all got ambitions. We just need the right kind of support to get there. In the future, I want to be a musician. I've became the fastest in my school, which I was quite proud of at the 100 metre sprint. But now I would wish and hope to be in the Olympics sometime. Well, I want to be an electrician. I either want to be like a wedding dress designer or travel. Like, I want to move to America and go to college there. I got an A-star in my first science GCSE. It made us feel, like, proud of myself a little bit. When I get out of, like, my school life, I want to be... I want to go and I want to, like, go to university, sixth form, college, because I've got, like, I've got so many... so, like, much big plans for the future. In the future, I want to achieve my GCSEs and reach my target levels, get a job, have a safe home, stable home and a nice family. Sometimes things happen where we might need some extra help or support. Knowing what's happening and how long things might take is really important. Sometimes I don't know how long things are going to take and if I don't know that, sometimes I get a bit too frustrating for us to cope with. With the cams, I knew I was getting a cams worker but I had no idea when it was happening and it took, I think it was eight weeks before I got a CAMS worker, which no one explained us, there's a waiting list, a referral order, and it all takes a long period of time. It wasn't explained into great depth, which it should have been. It gets to a point where if they don't tell you something, you feel like, well, what am I doing here? What am I doing in this situation? And why aren't they telling us the answers? It can get really frustrating. Sometimes there's been situations where I'm not quite sure what happen what's happening, and what people are telling me because it gets quite worrying that something might happen and that things might not happen the way I want them to happen. I 
I've had to move placements about three times and it's good if you can keep the same people because I it's been hard having to get used to living in a new house, to uh, having to live with a new person, having to rebuild that relationship up again with, with the foster care and the family. I've been in three other different placements and I uh, got adopted in Wales, but then that didn't work out, so I came back into care. I think the most difficult times is sort of like the transitions time, it's been extremely hard because there were so many different changes. At the end of it all, we have to leave care. But it's important that we're not rushed and it shouldn't feel at all stressful. They always put it so then they have that guideline. Once you are 16, that's it, it's post-16. But if like, you're mature enough and ready enough for it, they don't think about maybe the young person's not ready for it. It felt very sudden and very fast. I didn't feel like I had enough time to really process it all. It was just more like, right, this is happening and it's happening now. When I turned 16, I got moved from my social worker to my leaving care team. I felt quite happy that they're going to help us more often and be there to help us live independently. I'm classes leave care. I don't like people rushing us, and I like to do it my own way in my own time. It should work at their own young child's personal view and how slow they want to take it. I'd say to look after children and young people, that if you're not getting the care and support that you need and that you deserve, that you make use of this quality standard to challenge that and to get the care and support that you need to achieve everything you want to achieve in your life and to reach your full potential. This video has described the level of care and support that you should expect to receive as a looked after young person. Are you getting this level of care? If not, there are a number of people and organisations such as these who could help you. They can work with you and show you how to use this quality standard to improve your situation. To find out more about how to do this, visit www.infoforcarekids.org.uk and get more information on how to use this quality standard to help make your life better.